Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what you can do with leftovers. And I don't know, I know like my daughter was here and she was just asking me a few questions and she grew up cooking, but she hasn't done a lot of it in a long time. And now that she's getting married, she's like, mom, I look at your recipes and I need like step-by-step -step ways how to make it. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. And so I said, well, it's so simple. I said, you just have to kind of put, she's like, no, it's not simple. And so. I thought I would do a little video. So if she's watching, she says, mom, what can I do with this? And I'll send her to this video. So that's what this video is gonna be about, how to refurbish your leftovers or cook, because there's only the two of them. And I thought, well, you could just cook one bigger meal and have it for a few days at your home. And so one thing we talked about doing is grilling chicken. And I said, you can grill a bunch of chicken and then just don't cut it and then put it in your fridge. You can serve it and eat it that day with some grilled vegetables or something like that. Said, then you can chop it up and put it on some salads for lunches during the week, or you can can take it and then you can chop it up and slice it up and you can fry it like in a skillet with some onions and green peppers and then have it with some tortillas and have like some fajitas with it and you can put some spices on it but you don't have to you can just use like I usually marinate my chicken breast I told her I said you stick it in a bag with some Italian dressing just a bottle of Italian dressing and let that soak overnight or put it in your freezer if you're gonna freeze it whatever you do just the the chicken breast from the store that you would get in a package and just put them all in the bag I said and then grill them over like a low to medium heat so they're nice and tender and then take them out and then you know slice them up to eat it for that dinner and the next day put them on you know your salads for work or you can cut them up with some onions and peppers and you can make fajitas out of them or you can chop them up and you can put them on um, bread or some buns or um, like a pita bread with some toppings on it as well that's something we enjoy doing and so you can also mix um, if you cook a bunch of chicken in your crock pot like we love to marinate our chicken and then put it in the crock pot and then I'll just um, cook it real over like a medium to high heat and just let it cook tender all day long and it comes out and it's so flavorful as long as there's liquid in there as long as you have liquid I do mine from a frozen state and then I put a bottle of Italian dressing in there and I just throw all of that in the crock pot and let it simmer and cook in there all day long and it tastes so tender I'll take the pieces out and I'll just put them in the, a little container in the refrigerator and then each day I'll take it out and use it with something and it just tastes so good I like the little chicken tenders a little bit easier because they're smaller and you don't have all the extra stuff off there so I do enjoy those more than the breast but if you can't get the breast or if you can't get the tenders just get the breast and you can just chop it up so we can do that and then you can take and these are all these are some ways that you can repurpose your chicken and so one thing you can do and make is chicken salad that's something you can mix up with some you can chop up your chicken and you can add some onions some celery you can even add I like fruity chicken salad where you can add mandarin oranges drain them first some grapes that you cut in half some sliced almonds and even some cranberries and then you just mix up with a little bit of miracle whip or mayonnaise and you can put it on crackers you can put it on bread you can have it plain just on lettuce leaves that's something easy to do with leftover chicken you can also make like a Mexican grilled cheese and you take um, tortillas on a skillet and put some shredded chicken on it and then some uh, Mexican cheese or some cheddar cheese whatever you have put that on top and put a put the other tortilla on top and just kind of cook that with, with a little bit of oil either um, we like the grapeseed oil and some people I don't know you can use coconut oil and kind of fry it on each side and you have a nice little sandwich you can cut up and you can even serve that with sour cream and some salsa lettuce on top as well you can also make a chicken pot pie very simple to make you can go get pre-made pie crust you don't have to worry about <laughs> making your pie crust and you can put one of the pie crusts in the bottom of a pie pit plate put some chopped up chicken put a can or um, of dice or a can of mixed vegetables or frozen vegetables and then go, go get two cans of cream of chicken soup and just pour that on top without mixing it put the other um, lid on top the pie crust and put little slits in it pinch the sides around it place it in the oven bake it on 350 until it kind of bubbles out the middle a little bit so make sure you put two sli the slices so it comes out you can also make chicken crepes these are very thin pancakes so if you make some pancake dough you can look up a recipe for crepes there's so much online which is great but you can also just add a little bit more liquid to the pancake batter and just make them really thin and then you can make like a chicken gravy with some chicken bouillon and some um, make like a real thin gravy with flour that may be a little more intense but I think you can do it if you look it up and then you can use um, or you can just use shredded chicken with some cream mushroom soup as well and put that inside your your chicken crepe you can also make a chicken shepherd's pie in a 9 by 13 pan you can layer shredded chicken frozen vegetables cream of chicken soup and then top it with leftover whipped up mashed potatoes or you can use some instant potatoes for the top and bake that at 350 for 30 minutes we've also made chicken noodle soup you can take and make your own chicken broth or you can buy chicken broth you can add shredded chicken to it some mixed vegetables and then let that heat up and boil and you can um, boil some noodles separately and then add it to them when they are done and then you have chicken noodle soup 
You can also make chicken burritos. You can put, <laughs> these are super simple. You can take your chopped up chicken, you can add black beans to it, um, drain this first, a cup of salsa, a can of corn, and then mix that together. And then um, you can also put a little bit of taco seasoning in there, like just like a half a packet. I usually get the big container, so it's a couple tablespoons, and just mix that up. And then you can heat it and put it on tortillas, corn tortillas or flour tortillas, and then serve it with sour cream lettuce and cheese and all that so that's one way you can use up leftover there's i mean there's tons of ways that you can use up chicken so those are some of the things that we can do if we have a lot of leftover chicken just very simple we just like i like if i have chicken in my fridge i'll take a pita bread put the chicken on it and then i'll um, put a little bit of feta cheese heat that up and then i top it with the tzatziki sauce and then if i have um cabbage shredded cabbage like a um coleslaw i'll put that on top and i love it that's my absolute favorite right now so that's one way to use up chicken and then what about chili you can make a big pot of chili find your favorite chili recipe we have a lot we have our favorite family's favorite i make it every year for our chili cook-off at our community and um it's more like a taco soup i think people say but it's i say chili because it's more bean like chili so but you can go over to my blog and get the recipe you can make a big pot of chili serve that the first day and then you can serve with homemade cornbread if you'd like and then over the next couple days these are different ways you can serve it we can you can make baked potatoes and you can put chili on top of that with some cheese that's a meal you can make chili haystacks and so what you do on your plate you make rice cook rice you can layer rice chili cheese chopped lettuce salsa and sour cream you can do chili and pasta you can serve it over spaghetti noodles with some shredded cheddar cheese and some crushed saltine crackers sounds like a different recipe but not bad we've done that before so that's a way to use up chili that's one two three that's four meals that you could use for chili if you make a big pot of chili if you do a roast um i know she was like how do you cook a roast I always put that in the crock pot. Let it cook for the longest time possible. Let it cook real slow. It'll make it very tender. When it starts, it'll make the roast, like even if you have really um, tough meat, it'll make it super tender What well, just falls apart. So you can do that. So then you can make a beef stew. You can put some beef bouillon in a pot. This is the ways they use up the leftovers. Beef bouillon in a pot and make like a like a the liquid part for the soup and cut up some beef chunks, put those in there. You can use some leftover potatoes and some carrots maybe from your roast and you can make a um, gravy to make like a little stew night with that. You can even thicken it with potato flakes and that'll help thicken it as well. Um, you can serve thickened gravy and beef pieces over mashed potatoes, rice, or noodles. That's a way to do it, make like a beef gravy out of it. Um, you can make beef and bean roll up. This is really good. You take your shredded beef and you can put refried beans with it, salsa and um, onions if you want, or it's in the salsa and you just roll it up on tortillas. That's a good way to do it. We've done it on corn tortillas and fried them and make more like a taquito, really good. You can even add a little bit of taco seasoning to that as well. Philly steak sandwiches, another favorite. You take and saute some onions and green peppers and add some shredded beef to it. Put it on slider buns or any other kind of buns and top it with provolone cheese and broil it till it's melted. So there's five meals that you can make with a beef roast. So super simple to do. Um, pasta, one of those things is when you have a lot of pasta left over, how can you do that? And the easiest way to reheat that is just by immersing it in boiling water real quick. It'll heat it up real quick. Um, we also toss it with olive oil or butter and garlic and Parmesan cheese, and you can use it as a side for another meal that you're having. If you have a lot of bread, what can you do with some bread? You can freeze it for breadcrumbs because you can always um, put it in your food processor and use it for that. You can make croutons out of it by um, wiping some olive oil and some spices on top, put it in the oven. You can cut those up, make little bread crumbs. You can also make baked French toast. When you have stale bread, it works good to make baked French toast. That's a good way to use up. And these, I have recipes over on my blog that you can look up. Okay, ham. <laughs> the ham's something you can use for a lot of leftovers. So these are some different things that we've done when we have, we don't usually have ham leftovers because usually it's eaten, but if we had ham leftovers, this is what we would do. You can make a ham quiche, you can chop up a variety of vegetables and dice up some ham and you can just pour egg mixture over it and bake it all. You can do a ham skillet, this is our favorite, this is what we do always after ham. I try to keep some out and chop up the meat and then make ham skillet. And you can go over to my blog, get this recipe, basically you cook the, the ham and you put some um, chicken bouillon and a bunch of spices with garlic and um, pen pasta noodles and Parmesan cheese and it's so good. That's one of our family's favorite. We only get it when we have ham, but it's over at my blog, Ham Skillet. Look that recipe up. You can make omelets. You can chop some up with some veggies and you can make omelets for a meal. You can make a sandwich spread. We love having sandwich spread. My kids love sandwich spread. So you can take and you can puree, I say puree, but chop up in your food processor. And then you can put some mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, some onion and some pickle relish in there. Um, you can also add chicken and this is a great little mix that together. And you can make a nice sandwich spread or put it on crackers. My family really enjoys that as well. My dogs are running crazy in my deck right now. 
Okay, scrambled egg, eggs. If you have too many scrambled eggs, you can always save some the next day. You can put some with some bacon pieces on it if you had bacon bits or if you cook your bacon, like I make turkey bacon and then put it in the food processor, chop it up and put it in little bags in the freezer. You can pull it out the next day with some shredded cheese and then you can put it on a tortilla and roll it up and have some breakfast burritos. That's an easy way to heat and use up those. Okay, mashed potatoes. What if you have leftover mashed potatoes? You can make twice baked potatoes. You can add sour. So if you make mashed potatoes for a meal and there's leftovers, what can you do for it? You can make it a side the next day. Add some sour cream, some ranch powder, shredded cheddar cheese, and bacon bits. Whip it up and bake for 15 minutes in a casserole dish. That's delicious. You can make a shepherd's pie with it. You can make um, chicken or ground beef on the bottom. Cook your, you know, use the shredded chicken or cook your ground beef and put that on the bottom um, with some gravy or some um, beef. If you use beef, use like beef bouillon and flavor that with the meat so it's a little bit thicker, make it a little bit thicker. And then put some vegetables and put your mashed potatoes on top with some cheese, that's really good. You can make potato pancakes, you can mix them with eggs and spices, and you can form little patties and um, fry them on your skillet. You can also add it to potato soup to thicken it, and you can also freeze in one cup. If you have too much, put it in little one cup portions and put it in your freezer, and then when you make stews or things like that, you can put it in there and it'll thicken your, your soups up. Okay, what can you do with leftover rice? I mean, we would just eat leftover rice, but you can make little rice patties or rice balls over on my blog. Whenever, I haven't done this in a long time. My daughter just did it, and it's so easy. And we just mix rice, it's cold rice, with some shredded cheese and some ranch powder and stir it up, and then you add some egg to it. And then you form it into little balls, and then you put it on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven. Those are really good. We like those, we dip them in ranch and eat those. You can also fry some rice and use sesame seed oil, and then put some rice veggies and any um, scrambled eggs and serve it with soy sauce. That's a good way to use up any leftover rice. How about pancakes? If you make pancakes and make it too many, you can take some and you can freeze them between sheets of wax paper. You can put them in the toaster for an easy breakfast in the morning. You can put some peanut butter on top and top with banana slices and have it for a quick snack. You can also just make your batter thinner and then you can make crepes with it. You can put jam in between it and you can roll it up and top with powdered sugar. That's an easy way to do it. Um, if you've got some, when you're peeling your potatoes and all your potato peels you have, if they're really good potato peels, instead of throwing them out, wash and scrub your potatoes before you peel them. Um, keep the larger pieces when you're peeling them and drizzle them with oil and some spices and bake them for 40 minutes in a 400 degree oven and you've got some really good yummy like potato. Remember those potato skins chips that I have? I think they still have them. Those are really good. Kind of like that. What if you've got extra fresh fruit and vegetables and you're not eating them up? Um, sometimes maybe you go to the store and there's a really good deal on something or you go to the farmer's market and they offer you a whole bunch of um, extra vegetables and you're like what am I gonna do with all these things these are you can freeze them that's something simple you can do um, if you get grapes or berries just rinse them in cold water and place them on a cookie sheet and flash freeze them once they're frozen put them in bags we love frozen grapes that's something my girlfriend taught me she's like they're really good frozen grapes and I was like hmm and when there's an abundance of grapes we get those and flash freeze them and do that you can do that with strawberries you can do it with um, raspberries and blackberries and they're really good so freeze your fruit bananas you can also you can just freeze the banana with the peel on if you don't want to I usually peel them and put them in a bag and then I just put them in my smoothie or you can use them with for banana bread muffins you can add them to your pancake batter anything you could if you just leave the peel on and throw them in the freezer that's fine too and then when you pull it out let it thaw for just a minute or so it just takes a few minutes and you can kind of peel it like like you would peel an apple and you can peel the skin off and it'll come right off um, zucchini if you get some extra zucchini you can shred it and it goes great for our chocolate zucchini bread regular zucchini cake or you can add it to soups or lasagna for extra nutrition and I have a lot of recipes over on my blog again that you can go see um, if you have green beans and cabbage if you get a lot of those you have to blanch those first if you ever questioning like what how can I can I just freeze a green bean no you have to actually blanch it in hot water or cook it in hot water for a few minutes and then blanch it in cold water and then freeze it so it doesn't turn all soft and squishy so look those up before you're doing that if you get an abundance of things from like a farmers market or the store so what about milk? What do you, did you know that if you get an abundance of milk and you can't drink it off all at once, that you can freeze entire gallons of milk? <laughs> so we've done that before. Um, when you're ready, use it, place it in the fridge and let thaw. Use up it quicker than you normally would because it will go bad. But we, um, I think of like milk dishes I can use. And so we might make macaroni and cheese, homemade pudding, or soups, things like that, that I can add the milk to. Tomato products. Um, if you ever open up a big can of tomato paste and you only use like two tablespoons of it, and now what do you do with all of that things? Um, you can put blobs on cookie sheets and freeze it like a two tablespoon blob. After it's frozen, place it in a Ziploc bag to use easy. Um, any other canned diced tomatoes or any other canned tomato products like um, either pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, 
anything like that, diced tomatoes, anything like that, you can freeze it all for later. If you don't like whole tomatoes or diced ones, you can puree those up and you can use it on anything that uses tomatoes in your recipe. Think like soups, spaghetti sauce, casseroles, or even eggs it's really good for. Okay, turkey, if you get some leftover turkey for Thanksgiving, especially when you just have a couple people and you've got all this leftover turkey. You can slice it and make sandwiches. Um, you can also chop up the turkey and you can add some cream and mushroom soup and a little milk and you can serve it over noodles. Um, we have Taste Like Thanksgiving casserole and it's layering in a 9 by 13 pan. We put a can of crescent rolls in the bottom and then we bake that for 15 minutes and then we top it with chopped turkey, stuffing, the vegetables, can of cream of chicken soup and top it with mashed potatoes. You whip them again to make them fluffy and some shredded cheese. Bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. Over at my blog, these recipes, I'm talking too fast because I probably am. I have a lot to get into. Ground beef. What if you have some extra ground beef? You can mix it with macaroni and cheese. You can add some leftover spaghetti sauce for like a hamburger helper style dish. You can add taco seasoning to make more like a, a taco chili mac type thing. You can add cheese to it, anything like that. Taco salad. You can put in a taco salad. Put some canned chili beans in there, some crushed chips, and some dressing. You might not even need it. I don't use the dressing. We just use canned chili beans with the liquid. Just pour it out a little bit and just mix that in for taco salad. You can make haystacks with leftover ground beef. You can put the rice down, your beef, you can put ripe, refried beans, some cheese, chopped lettuce, sour cream, and ranch. Um, you can always add chili, add some canned beans to it, diced tomatoes, and tomato sauce, and that'll make a nice chili too. Spaghetti sauce, what if you have leftover spaghetti sauce? Um, you can make homemade pizza. You can use um, buy crust, or you can make your own crust. You can do it on pita bread. You can do it on little biscuits. You can do it on regular bread. You can make pizzas with any kind of toppings and cheese. Um, pizza burgers is another way to use a pizza sauce. You mix it with ground beef and top it with mozzarella cheese. That's different and yummy. You can just add it to any of your soups as well. Make like a tomato-based soup. If I'm making chili and I have a little bit of tomato, um, tomato or spaghetti sauce in my fridge, I'll just add it to there. If you've got some leftover cooked vegetables, what can you put those on? You can make little pizzas. We can put them on tortilla or pita chips, and you can top with cheese and bake until crisp. Very easy way to do it. You can add it to your soups for nutrition. You can stir fry, cook some rice and vegetables, and top with soy sauce and sesame seed oil. Or you can make a no crust quiche. Chop up vegetables and add to egg and milk and mixture and bake it in an oven. So these are some things that we have done in our home just to use up leftovers. We don't really have that many leftovers all the time because we just, sometimes I'll make something bigger and we'll use it for the next couple days. We don't always have that many leftovers, but when my daughter was here and she was talking, she's like, how do you do this? What do you do? And I thought, you know what? I need to do some kind of video of how you can make meals with like one thing. She knows how to do chicken, but she's like, what about the beef and all that stuff that um, Paul would enjoy? And so I'm like, okay, so these were just some ideas that you can do. And there's so many recipes. Like we have a lot on our blog at plainandnotsoplain.com. The link is in the description below. But the great thing about the internet is you can go to like allrecipes.com and then you can see the star review of how someone made it and if it was any good or what they did differently, which is really good. So that's awesome to have that availability. But these were just some simple, quick ways that you can make some meals that are easy. If you have just a couple people in your family, like she was just going to have her and, her and her husband, and so that they could make a bunch of chicken and then they could do all those meals afterwards with that. So that was my intent in sharing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.